Hey, so I haven't even uploaded my first video yet and I got two more packages in. So I figured I am going to go ahead and open these. We'll see if I make it one video or if I end up just combining it all together. A whole little smorgasbord of awkward first video vibes. <laughs> So um, my family is actually getting all of our windows changed. So I had to move all of my plants away from the windows. And that's why I have my Bobo Grow Light there. Let me turn it off for the video. Ooh, the exposure. Uh, all the babes are doing well. In the Nepenthes unboxing, I mentioned my Split Brock Royal Flush Arana. And my baby, she's growing up. So when I got this one, it had three pairs of leaves. And in my research, it showed that the split rocks, Neliopsis, Neliospis, Latin, are only supposed to have two because basically what they do is you water them like twice a year, depending on certain situations, but you water them very little. And for the rest of the year, they're just subsisting on the moisture that's stored in the old leaf. So these leaves are here and then it's gonna split and the baby's gonna come to it. And when these grow, they're gonna feed off of those two and then so on and so forth. And it's a nice cycle, but basically there's a new baby before the old baby had even eaten its daddy leaves, mommy leaves. Cannibalism. <laughs> I heard that that's not good and it can lead to rot and it's very bad for them. I, I watered it a little bit one time and I've just been having them in a bright sun spot right here in my window. And finally, the, I noticed last night that the little new baby, the old one still isn't gone, but the little new baby went and split. So the, the old one is significantly smaller. It's on its way out. It's a little wrinkly. These two are still huge, which is kind of concerning that it's gonna have the same issue, but it's nice. I like it. Alrighty, so unboxing. Got two packages. I lowered the angle a little bit. Handy dandy, really dull scissors. They're both from Etsy again. I just did a big Etsy order. I really like how these are labeled fragile, handle with care, keeping the kids all good. That was my address. Fragile. This one is from Urban Jungle. And this one, it doesn't say the Etsy store. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Why can't these packages ever come on my day off? Both times, right before work. Yeah, right before work. <laughs> I need to get ready. Sorry, the light's a little bright, but natural lighting is great. So this is my string of hearts. The pins are to help your plant grow new tubers quicker and make it fuller. You may remove them. The potatoes are tubers in soil. They store water like a succulent leaves stems. Please text. Oh, that's so nice. She actually put her number to text if I have any questions. A nice handwritten note. That is very sweet of her. Here is the pot. Now I have a pot that I was planning on putting these chain of hearts in. And I also have some cuttings that I ordered, but then I wasn't too confident on my propagation skills. So I went ahead and ordered a grown-up too. That's pretty tight in here. But this seems like it's in a pot, so I might end up leaving it in here. We will see. The one that I was planning on, I need to drill a drainage hole in it, but it is this one. I ordered it for my Skindap Suspictus, and they sent me the wrong one. 
but then I like this one too, so I figured I'll find something for it. My only concern, is that gonna be enough room? Let me know in the comments. I'm new to Cyril Piggy Eye. Back to the plant. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. There's a hook. That's what was holding it in there so tight. Some sort of letter in there. And packing peanuts. So it comes with this hook, which is nice. Like I said, I might end up transplanting it, but I'm sure I'll leave it in here for a little while. As you can see, it's all wrapped here. And these are to hold the tubers in place. <laughs> it's nicely wrapped here. The packing peanuts definitely kept the There's a fungus snap. It's okay. I have mosquito bits, I have neem oil, and I have lots of yellow sticky traps. So y'all gonna die, yo. Mm, should I open it outside? It's fine. It's kind of an odor, but I'm sure that's just, it's been in the mail, it's wet a little bit. Actually not sure how I feel about the odor, but Rose gave me her number, she's very nice. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I am actually really excited. Fungus nuts are not my friend, but I know how to get rid of them. There's all of those. So let me remove this saran wrap. It's a little, a little bit over full. I'm still very excited. Let's see. Oh my goodness. This tangling process is gonna be real fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and follow this guy around. So pretty. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I heard Crazy Plant Guy, I'm not sure what his real name is, say that he spent a long time untangling his first string, chain of hearts. String of hearts, chain of hearts, I think. Wow. So, like I said, I've been wanting this one from what I've seen on YouTube and Instagram, on the internet. And I've heard that they have succulent type leaves. That is one stiff leaf. It's like a rock. That's actually really, really cool. <laughs> All right, so I am going to go ahead and untangle this and I'll be right back. All righty, so been kind of an ordeal untangling this. I'm not sure how much of the top I can remove, but this is the string of pearls. This is the chain of hearts. I'm quite happy with the size. I feel like there's more in here that I can untangle, but it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a long, long time. <laughs> like I said, we'll revisit. Let's move on to the next. This is the one from Urban Jungle LA. I think that this is going to be my Skindapsis Pictus Exotica. I have a Skindapsis Pictus, the generic main version. Let me go check. That shirt is blinded by the light. <laughs> All right. So here is my Skindapsis pictus, also known as Satin Pothos. He was much tinier when I got him. 
He's still not huge, but I love him. This is actually my first foliage house plant that I got. I'll put that up here and then we can compare. Okay. Here we go. This is fun. It's packaged like this. It's actually taped. I don't know if you can see here to the side of the box to, so it doesn't roll around. Thank you. I hope your plant. I'm holding it outside. Thank you. I hope your plant arrived in good condition. It is normal for plants to get stress during transit, which can cause wilted appearance. Once exposed to pop proper light and air circulation, your plant will recover. Also, I would really appreciate if you could take a few minutes to leave a review. Would love to feature your plant. Tag me on Instagram, Urban Jungle LA. Here we go. This is layers and layers and layers. So, box, tape, USPS envelope, newspaper, bubble wrap. <laughs> no, that's actually good because hopefully it's doing well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at all that just spilled out. Let me get my handy dandy oil tray. All right, we're gonna come down here for this. Okay, it probably just fell out of the top. Wow. So it's in like a start. This is in like a styrofoam soup container. I think that they had some top ramen and then shipped it over. But you know what? The hustle. It's good. The soil feels well draining. But look at those leaves. Wow. I am very happy with this guy. Or gal or whatever gender you want to assign to my plant. Not about that heteronormative behavior. So look how big, head test. Kaylee Ellen's head test. I love it. That's all I have to say. Plant care. Prefers moist but not wet soil. Do not overwater. Medium to bright. Indirect light but tolerates low light. So now the only thing about this is I don't know where I'm going to pot it. But we'll check it out. Very cool. Now I have two cultivars of Scandapsis pictus. I have my Exotica and the standard variety. There is a separate name for that. I'm not an expert. And there you go. Yeah, this one has much more silver coloration in there and larger leaves. And that one's a darker variety. Thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna get to dealing with these good old fungus snaps. You done did me dirty. I'm just playing. I appreciate it very much. Here are today's plants. Bye guys. Like, comment, subscribe. What, 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 what? The Nepenthes is outside, loving the humidity. I figured with all this moving away from the window, he needed a brighter light. So he's on the blue night.